Hey, it's Mouty Foo here. I'm just driving back to BC from Alberta right now. Um, I went out to Alberta to do some work for my previous employer. They had some computer problems and it's kind of, it's just easier for me to go there and fix it than for them to pay a computer technician to come do it for them because I'm more familiar with their stuff. So I ran out there for the weekend and um, while I was out there, I found a pretty cool deal. So I was checking Kijiji for some of the stuff I'm looking for for myself. And one of the, like, one of the sort of toys that I've been looking for is a thermal printer. I just can't justify the price of buying one new um, because the like cost savings isn't that much compared to buying the uh, stick on labels and the cost of toner for my laser printer. Uh, but it's something I want just because it makes life easier and it's faster um, and less wastes. Like whenever I print off my uh, barcodes for uh, Amazon FBA, I end up with like, not necessarily half the sheet, but like five or 10 that are just left over. And so like, yeah, I use them to cover up barcodes on the boxes that I send in, but it's still kind of a waste. Um, and so that's something I've been looking for. And so I, when I was in Edmonton, I looked for thermal printers listed on Kijiji uh, there. And I found a um, listing for, it was, there are a few reasons why I think these sat as long as they did. Uh, it was a listing for like seriously commercial uh, label printers. Um, and the price was crazy cheap. It was $75 each. And I looked on eBay to see what they were going for used. And it was like between like 170 for ones that are like untested and look trashed up to like 350 for nice looking ones. And uh, a lot of the ones on eBay only had a serial interface. So like the really old printer connection. And in this guy's text of his ad, he said they were a network. It, his, his ad wasn't very, like it had the information, but it was not in a way that like made it easily searchable. So he used a stock image, which is always like, why, <laughs> you know, like, why did you use a stock image and not take a quick picture of the actual item? Um, he called them barcode printers, which nobody's searching for that term. Uh, like if you put thermal printer or label printer, I'm sure they would have been gone. He had six of them listed for $75 each. And they it his listing has been up for over a month and he sold one of them. So by the time I called him, I asked him how many he had. And he said he had five. And so I said, well, I really only need two, uh, but it's good to have backups. So I'm thinking I might take four but <laughs> if you want to cut me a deal, I'll take all five. And he was just like, well, if you take all five, I'll do $60 each. So that would be $300 total, <laughs> which is kind of funny because I said I was going to take four for sure, basically at $75, which is $300. So he basically like threw in another printer for free. And so I'm, I met the guy in like a Walmart parking lot and uh, he had one of the printers he brought with him and he showed it to me and it's in ridiculously good condition. Like 
not not like brand new, but like it hasn't been in a warehouse. And uh, it did have the like network card. And so I asked him, I was like, are the, do the other ones look like this? He's like, yeah, they're like literally all the exact same. And I was like, okay, I'll take them. Like, I, <laughs> the, the price I paid for them is basically what I could sell the network card that's in them for. And so, like, even if they don't work at all, I will more than double my money. And if they do work, I'll make over a thousand bucks and I'll have one to keep for myself or two or however many, but like, it's just crazy that like such an incredible deal sat on Kijiji for over a month. And also that someone else went there, bought one of them for $75 and, and wasn't like, oh, turns out this is a crazy deal and like went back didn't go back and buy the rest, right? Like, yeah, some, pe some people just don't think that way. They're like, I need one. They're not wheelers and dealers where they're like, I need one of these label printers. And so they bought the one and the rest, they're just like, eh, someone else will get them. And that someone else is me. Um, and so anyways, like these printers, he also had uh, rolls of security labels in them. So they're that like silver foil label. And so I, I have no idea how much those are worth, just the labels themselves. But I would be surprised if it's less than like $10 a roll and like each one has, has them in there. I guess what he used them for was he had a rental company of some sort. I don't know what it was and uh, he used this for his inventory labels on each of the things that he rented out. And so it was like when a new store would open up, they would print off, you know, a thousand labels, which is nothing. Like, like these things when they're used in a, like a warehouse warehouse, they use them for order tickets. So in a big warehouse, they might do like 3000 of them a day <laughs> but this guy was using them just to print out these tiny little labels uh, with like an inventory number on them whenever they bought a new piece of equipment to rent out. And so like each lo store location had one, so that's why he had six. And then he sold the business and it was just basically he sold the name and the equipment. Uh, that the rental equipment and everything else he got to keep. So he had these and he was just trying to get rid of them. So <laughs> I, yeah, I'm amazed and I'm super excited to like get these into my office and test them out. And I'll let you know, I'll show you a picture of them uh, after this. So these are the label printers that I actually got. Um, so yeah, this one's in really good condition. This one's the worst. It's got some like tape marks on it and whatever. Uh, but still for something, and it's got a bit of a gap here too. The other ones don't have that. Um, but yeah, so there's one that's a little wonky. And so these ones are all um, the networked so let's see if that shows that right there in the center Zoop. so standard network port and then the old serial uh, same with this one and then I got one over here and that's the one I've been playing around with it's got a USB port on the back um, but yeah so they all power up and seem to work. Uh, these are the labels he had in them. I don't know if that's showing up very good. They're kind of shiny. Uh, they're not actually security labels, so they're just shiny um, metallic ones. Uh, the problem with those is that 
setting them up in the printer you have to actually like go through the screens and blah 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 uh, so that's what it's set up for so i ordered some uh like standard four by six labels that uh, i can use them anyways uh, if i'm going to keep one and uh i'd like to be able to show that they work and they print the full width uh, so those are coming from Amazon. It was like 20 bucks for the roll. Um, so yeah, those ones, it should be able to automatically detect where the labels are because they're standard paper. Uh, whereas these ones, because they're weird, you have to like type it in on there and whatever. So I just don't think it's great for demonstrating how they work. I'm halfway tempted to take out the networking cards and sell them separate and then buy some uh, parallel to USB adapters because the network adapters themselves sell for um, like around a hundred bucks. Uh, so that's pretty tempting and I can buy a USB, uh, a parallel to USB card for like $10. So. I feel like I could make a bit more money doing it that way. I don't know if I will, because it's kind of tempting to just throw them up, throw them up the way they are, uh, put three hundred fifty or four hundred bucks a piece, and go from there. Uh, but yeah, I'm still pretty stoked on this deal. Um, I'll let you know how it goes. Maybe I'll post a follow up video when they start selling.